Hey, it's Mr. Random Pop Culture News for Curry Game. Mr. Manny Wolverine. That's the Mr. Alpha Torch's channel. I mean, my social media is like Twitter, Instagram, X. You should write down all the stuff. Shout out, shout out to anyone that gave this video a like, share, subscribe. I don't say it very often, but I don't also follow me in the at AOL symbols. Links to the hashtag down below as well. Anyways, I know this has been a while, three days. I know I'm late on it. I did do another video on my backup channel. I usually don't tell you guys about it. I know it's called Anime Manga News Master Freak back in the day. But I know I have something to say to Nintendo. <laughs> it's my third backup channel. It's my secret channel. Most people don't know about it. link down below. I did show the Cassie and the other thing, but that one got copyright claimed to oblivion. Because freaking CNN owns it. So, F them for that. P. Diddy Apology. And if any people don't know, if you're a 70s, 80s, probably 90s kid, Bazooka Joes, they are back. I had no idea. I swear to God, I'm not sponsored them, but it was from this store call five below i had no idea they were selling these boys and even amazon has this get your game up amazon you should eat these anyways hold on. i had to spit my gum out of my mouth because i know you don't want to see that gross grotesque stuff p diddy apology let's just jump into it <laughs> i heard about it a bunch of times i haven't watched the video myself i had to avoid everything even my old dvr tv from like spoiling myself for seeing this for the first time so let's go Disturbing video obtained by CNN shows rapper Sean Diddy Combs assaulting his ex-girlfriend. The video mm. you're about to see is from 2016, and we do want to... Oh, if it's that one, I gotta, like, cut that one out. Alright, that's what it was. I thought there was more to it. Hold on. Okay. Disability for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Wow. He's disgusted then, he's disgusted now. Why the heck did you even do it in the first place, dude? You're a millionaire, billionaire. I've seen so many of my old school, when I used to have a lot of black friends in elementary middle school, and I'm still in a real, real, no offense, a lot of Section 8 ghetto poverty-ass apartments over there, living in freaking Brooklyn, New York, Spanish Harlem. I know over here in Vegas, which I'm not going to say, it, there's another area called Historic West Side. There's mainly a lot of predominantly African-Americans live on that side of the... Here in Vegas? Pfft, holy shit, man. They worshipped the shit out of this dude, Diddy, back in the day. I know my black parents' friends, friends' parents, they love the crap out of that dude. Sean Diddy comes and did a stupid little fucking flag it dance. I'm going to say that instead of the other real word I want to say. But it was dumb and silly. And the retardation was silly as fuck. That's what it was to me about that. Since then, Ventura's lawyer has released a statement saying in part, quote, Combs' most recent apology is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. When Cassie and other multiple women came That's forward, he denied everything and suggested his victims were I looking for a payday. I right, guess that's it. I thought it was going to be a lot longer. Though. It was only like 30, 50 seconds. I thought it was going to be way longer. I couldn't show that other part because I know I got claimed badly. <laughs> you know, I edit the whole thing and all that shit, but I already said so many of my thoughts, views, opinions, and speculations on Diddy. I'm getting really, really tired of saying that, dude. There was another dude that was just... Name was coming up too, Johnny Solani, Solomani, Solomani. But <laughs> the dude, he, he ended up getting in trouble again. I don't know if I'm going to talk about him. Maybe in a separate video Saturday or Sunday. Now it's going to be way old news then. The internet probably would have moved and freaking um, moved its butt off by that point about Johnny Soliami, Johnny Somali, Sumiali, Salami, whatever you want to call him. The one that went to that Israeli like protest thing a while ago, like two months ago. And he got in trouble over there. I'm not even picking up with the drama shit anymore. I'm so sick and tired of talking about drama news on my channel. That I might end up just cutting it all out. And just do reactions to cartoons and movies and video game trailers and stuff. But plus it's that time of the month. <laughs> Next month will be the time of the month. Like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. They do their like Summer's East Fest and then Gamescom after that in July. <laughs> It's going to be a huge ass deal. This time, I'll probably just watch it for myself instead of doing a giant ass reaction video. Because I know you guys don't like those two, three hour reaction videos I do. Or hour and a half videos that I do for reactions. It's not a good thing. I get it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Not really that many thoughts. Use opinion speculation. Dude's a scumbag jerk off POS. Disgusting. Disgusting, disruptful mind of a human being. No wonder those two, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, JLo, and the other chick, end up leaving Cassie Ventura left him because this dude's i can't imagine all the evilness and the absolute disgusting disgracefulness this man sean diddy puff daddy p diddy diddler <laughs> combs that's what they call him diddler comes just sad 
It's disgusting. I see Gen Z or Gen Alpha just probably have no idea unless they were raised with African American parents or Puerto Rican like a Spanish Latino parents in the East Coast or Midwest or the East Coast or the parts of South like Florida. They probably would have known who Sean Diddy Combs was. It was an entrepreneur. I remember back in the days he had his whole lineup of shoes, sneakers, clothing, Sean John's. I remember I had two pairs of clothing of Sean John's and Sean John freaking socks. Those are gone now. Just, I threw them away like 18 years ago when I freaking got in high school. I think it was community college when I first started. I think this one I stopped using them after that. It's, I didn't even like the dude at all. <laughs> I think it was because at that time when I was still living with my parents, my mom thought it was a cool idea to get Jay Z and P. Diddy and <laughs> Lil John, Ludacris, freaking Usher, even G Unit. The old school G Unit freaking clothes. I started out with 50 Cent and all of them. And I was speaking of 50 Cent, he's going to even expose more. Stuff him and Cat Williams. I'm telling you, black side of YouTube, Twitter, and black side of social media, TikTok in general, of X. They must be having a field day shitting on this man, P. Diddy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I watched a couple. I don't really tell you guys this that much besides VTuber tricks that I watch a lot of the time or just a lot of movies and TV shows. From F movies I usually watch in my spare time if I'm not doing IRL work or for my career my hotel, motel casino job. I'm probably watching a couple of stuff about the African American side of YouTube, the African American side of like social media, and they have been desecrating this dude. They they do not want to. They don't they don't like something. This man, I forget what it's called. They don't bless this man. They say he's not a part of him. Sean Diddy, P Diddy Combs, the man. He's just, he's a worthless wreck, man. This guy, he's a waste of sperm and legs. This dude, Diddy. Sean Combs, Puffy D. It was cringe I see here when he called Puff Daddy. It was just something icky and disgusting about that when I was a 90s kid. We were not even grasp because I was a 7, 10 year old kid at that time. <laughs> but now this dude, his career is done. And if he keeps coming back from this, he says the lawyer's attorneys, he says still not going to arrest him because, oh, they don't have enough extra evidence. That's enough evidence right freaking there. You saw my older commentary video I did two days ago on it. I'll try to remember to leave my description box down below. It's ridiculous. The man he's trying to cook this. Oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. It's disgusting, bro. I'm not surprised these dudes' gaming swings are still on. Holy shit. They did a lot of nasty crap there, but there's only like one or two things. I'm going to talk about anime manga stuff, so I'll see you in a second. Nice. I didn't think I'd be talking about this one again right here, but this is another one again. The Plus Size Self Anime Manga premieres this July. New trailers. This is English dub now. So I know it's from April 18th, but I know I'm a month later. It was brand new to me the other day. I was like, no way, for real? They're coming back again? Even people don't know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right here. An anime chick. Gotta be careful while I zoom in on it, because the parts of it, she's a little heavy set, but she's still really, really pretty and beautiful, now. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, she came back again. It's gonna read a little bit of it. Series Files, a detaining weight law specialist name. No way. I'm just gonna say it out, because I can't say the other name. It's hard to pronounce it. Acquired by an elf from another world, the only problem she fell in love with food, french fries, and a bunch of junk food, and now she's, it should have said just a bunch of junk food. Now she's too chubby to fit through the portal between worlds. Alongside <clears throat> Noe Will, who's recruited by an elf from another game world, only person is that she fell in love with friends, I already read that. Other fantasies have been secretly living in the real world, many of them have their own problems of weight. Thanks to the conveniences of delicious modern food society. Hell, and there's a trailer for it too. I'm not going to play because I will get copper clean to oblivion. And on this one, I'm probably going to do a whole separate commentary rant thing on this fool because I ain't going to do my face with this one. Kicks from Johnny Salami gets hit. Unfortunately, abused on live stream. Last month, he was arrested for posting photos of. Oh, I can't say those other two names. Those are big, big numbers. Like I say, Aiden Ross's name. Talked a whole bunch of drama mess on that dude. I was so sick and tired of talking about that fool. He's still a 24, 25 year old kid. I know he got it. He's a grown ass adult, but in my eyes, he's still a little freaking baby. Just a spoiled rich brat. That's what he is, in my opinion. And and that word in the Middle East, it's pop culture and art news. So, ugh, God, makes me throw up seeing this dude. Cause especially what he did in Japan, the freaking BS he did in Japan. I'm surprised he didn't get in that freaking electrocuted like death sentence instead over there in Japan and don't ever come back to Canada the United States or wherever he's from because he says that real thick Arabic Middle Eastern accent I don't know sure he's like one of those people I gotta be careful he's one of those Stinian people I don't know from 
the Middle East. He's kind of got the accent, but he sounds like he's black African American too. He's it's like one of those. No offense to Indian Arabic people, but those stereotype dudes from like the Simpsons, the ones that always work at the gas stations all the time. The Arab is, <laughs> I don't know, Muslim people, the ones that are always driving the taxis in New York City. Kind of has that accent, a little bit stereotyping. I know, I'm not trying to be racist or bigot, I'm just saying. That's all I guys from around here. That's it. Peace out, just a bye. Soon, feels like safe, safe, cautious, I'm gone. Take care. I'm See you guys later in the uh, next future content video. I'm gone.